Hello people of the internet. Right, this is going to be a quick video and I know I say that every time but I'm going to try and keep this one quick. Right, um, I did a video on this before and it was a big fail. So hopefully this one's going to be a win. Now, I've spent far too much money on this old turd, <laughs> to be honest, as I usually do, but mechanically it's pretty good. But the problem we have, and uh, if you watch the channel for some time you'll realise, the problem we have is, uh, well, a typical Vauxhall problem. The seal on the aerial. Well, it's basically shagged. So, I've spent far too much money on an item from eBay that actually came from Germany and cost me about 20 quid. Um, I will put a link in the description. Um, if you're foolish enough to pay 20 quid like I did, then, um, well, well done. Right, um, let's get started. So there you go, that's the seal. And anybody that's tried to do this before will know what a nightmare it is trying to get a seal that is actually the right one. Yes, you can make some stretch and you can mess about with them with hot water and everything else, but I didn't want to. So I've got a proper seal. And you know what? It's hot in here for this. I'm going to drop the roof. Let's do it. It's still a clever design. And as of last time, first job, that. <laughs> Carefully done. <laughs> right, when you've got the light down, there is a connector there, and that should just pop out. Ah, oh, like that. And that gives you access to the nut. So the nut is 17 and you can just about get purchased on there with uh, a spanner to uh, slacken it off. You don't have to take it out all the way. Um, hopefully, well I know it will, the uh, rubber will slide under the aerial. But I might take it off just to clean it. There you go, nuts down. Right, outside to the aerial and yeah, some fool stuck it down last time. Boop, boop, boop. There you go, it's out. Right, I'm going to clean all that junk up because it doesn't look nice. There you go. That's a bit better. Right, new seal. Arr, 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 arr. No, no, not funny. So, in theory, slip it over the top like that. Manipulate it around. That's what I need, two hands. No, I don't. I can do it. There you go. Yeah, I do need two hands just to get it in place. Bear with. Right, we're there. I'm just going to hold it in place because it's a bit stretchy, the old rubber. But uh, let's get the bolt on, get it tightened up. Right, we're on and we're good. Look at that. Lovely. Sealed perfectly. Right, like I said, it was going to be a quick, easy job. All I've got to do now is put the light back in and tidy up. Nice and easy. So if you've got this problem, like I say, I'll leave a link in the description for where I got it. It comes from Germany. Um, costs you about, it's about 20 quid with the postage, everything else. But yeah, it's the, uh, it's the only one I've got that actually does fit. <laughs> so yeah, probably not worth messing about with the other ones. You can seal it up with rubber glue like I did, but uh, it's fixed now. And uh, the old car will last a, a lot longer, maybe. Right, thanks for joining me. Tried not to waffle too much, tried to make it a quick video. Hopefully somebody finds it useful. Yep, see you later. Bye bye internet. 